Morning, everybody. Um, I thought I would take a second uh, and just uh, share what I've been doing lately to keep my wits about me. Uh, I've been doing this for a few months now, actually, uh, but seems uh, like a good time to share it with all this Ukraine-Russia stuff going on, which is obviously very concerning um, and a big deal. Um, but there's a lot you can do to uh, maybe get through your day better uh, with by paying less attention to it. So uh, a couple of things that I've done. Uh, for one, social media, particularly Facebook and, and all those other kind of things. I basically unfollowed just about everyone at this point. Um, and I, I do that, like I'm still friends with, connected with people, although I did do a purge there too. Um, but unfollowing anyone that just posts uh, negative stuff all the time, it's just, it's not serving me. And, uh, and it tends to lead me down a rabbit hole. So I've just unfollowed people and, and if, you know, I occasionally go and follow them again. If if they reoffend, I unfollow again. Uh, it's a nice, simple model that's working really well. And so my feed is nice and clean, and it's pretty much folks with uh, upbeat messaging. So that's one. Two, I've moved. Uh, I've long since moved the uh, Facebook icon from my phone and, and tablet's home screen onto the second screen. Um, just by putting it a little out of reach, so it's not sitting there staring at me, I have to think about going to open it. And so I do. I go in there like twice a day, pretty disciplined, check in on friends and family, and then I'm I'm out again. Um, so try moving that Facebook icon to a second screen. And while you're at it, disable all notifications in Facebook and sounds. Um, every time the app updates itself, it turns the sounds back on. It drives me crazy, but uh, fight the system. Um, you know, turn off those notifications. You don't need to know how many messages you've missed. Um, if anyone really needs to be able to reach you, they're gonna text you or call you. Um, so, you know, Facebook notifications are not as important as they might think. So turn all the badges, or just turn all, all the notifications off. Go in and check on your uh, Facebook friends when you feel like it, not when they feel like reaching you. Um, and that'll help you with a lot of this news garbage as well, right? So, um, or negative news. Um, the other one is pick a single news source. Um, if you still feel that you need to get information about what's going on, because uh, I, I will guarantee you that even if you stopped looking for it, um, you're going to hear about it, right? You're going to be at the bar and it's going to be on the news ticker, on the TV screens. Um, the person next to you is going to say, have you heard the latest? And they're going to give you their take on their information and what they've read. And, uh, and hopefully you're filtering that too and, and realizing that that's coming from whatever bias they have. So. Um, I would suggest not having, not going for any news source because it's going to come to you anyhow. Or if you do it, as I say, pick one, pick one that you trust. Um, don't do Google News or Apple News because these are just great big bins of, of noise that they're trying to, and they're fighting for your uh, attention. So uh, ads and other garbage, and it's, it's just a rabbit hole you don't need to go down. So don't do that either. Um, so what else? Social media. That was uh, cutting off the news, like basically cutting off the oxygen supply of all this negative information because there's not much we can do about Russia and Ukraine. From where I'm sitting, all I can do is be the best person. Uh, I can be around others, and, and this is how I'm trying to do it, is to maybe help some folks de-stress. Um, and then last time, the last is just take some time for yourself. Um, turn all that crap off, meditate, um, have a nap. Um, just do it, and, and uh, you'll find that it actually doesn't feel quite as heavy. Hope that helps someone today. Um, love you all. See ya.